How's it going? Motor City Miner here coming at you from the farm in Detroit again. Just a quick update today, making some construction progress, which is great. This is uh, in that room that was divided, so we now busted open some walls, like I had talked about, to kind of have this be the hot side and that, that be the cold side. Uh, but since this wall was already here, kind of dealing with some existing conditions, didn't really want to do all the work to move the door and whatnot. So we're actually going to have two of these smaller racks on each side. You can kind of see I have one set up at the moment just for making sure things are fitting. Uh, have a little bit of trim work to clean up at the top and bottom and then on the other side as well. Uh, just don't want to accidentally suck in some, you know, drywall dust and whatnot, so need to clean that up. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with how it came out. <laughs> Got these awesome, uh, like, 10-gauge steel corner cards here from my day job that uh, were just kind of left over on a project, <laughs> so a little overkill uh, for these corners. I mean, these are so heavy, but <laughs> I put them on the side that you know, the work, the cool side. No one's ever going to be on the hot side. It's too hot over there. Uh, so I'll just put like some, like I said, some trim to clean up the drywall here. Uh, I forgot how much I hate working with drywall. It's just so messy. Pain in the ass. And they put like the thickest drywall I've ever seen. It's, it doesn't look like it in this view, but I measured it. It's literally an inch thick, the drywall. It's just... Monstrous. I mean, look at look at that. <laughs> I had to use an oscillating saw to like cut through. Uh, Sawzall would have probably worked better, but I don't have one of those. Um, on this side, I tried to use like studs where I could for the opening. So we had a stud here, and then the other stud was like all the way in the wall. So I got to do something a little different here just to clean it up, make sure we don't accidentally suck in some of the insulation. Like I said, all these walls are insulated since it was going to be a grow facility at one point. So I don't want to accidentally suck any of that into my machine. So got to clean up, cover up that side, maybe with some trim or something. Uh, I guess we can walk through the opening for now. Uh, so yeah, this is like the hot side. Uh, this side's definitely messier. Uh, lots of cleanup I gotta do. <laughs> but, you know, we'll, we'll work on it. It's a work in progress. Um, but yeah, it turned out, it's turned out pretty good. Pretty happy with it. I'm excited to kind of test this whole hot and cold aisle idea. I mean, it's not gonna be fully implemented yet because um, I don't have a supply for the cold side eventually. Where they had an opening here, I think, is where I'll run a duct for incoming cold air. It's also a bear market, so money's tight. So it's not really a priority uh, to bring cold air into the space right now. So I think it'll just be, you know, it's ambient temperature, uh, which should be fine. Um, and then the hot side, I do have to modify. I'm going to put it at, like, intake. I have some AC Infinity fans at the other farm, so I'm thinking I'll... Put some here and shoot them out. This is actually currently um, like a exhaust into this room um, to supply heat, but obviously I'm not going to need heat, so I'm going to take that off. Put my an AC Infinity fan or two um, blowing the opposite way, and that'll kind of require a little bit of rework over in that room. Um, honestly, I just need to decommission this furnace because I'm never going to use this furnace. I mean, there's no reason for me to use this furnace. I make so much heat. So, but this is that duct coming in. So I think I'll just probably just, probably just cut through it to be honest, or maybe right at that elbow, just take out that elbow. And that way it dumps hot air into this room. And then, um, that's the window and I'll probably put like a window fan, um, to exhaust the hot air out. So this will kind of be like a hot room, I guess. Um, kind of collect all the hot air in here and suck it outside for now. Uh, again, this is kind of temporary. Um, just, you know, seeing how it works, to be honest. 
Um, and then, yeah, but yeah, definitely excited. Try this out. Uh, so we're gonna have two X8 Ultra Pluses on each shelf. So there'll be four on this side and four on this side. So we'll have eight Octominers. Hopefully it works. I mean, I guess we'll find out here shortly. Maybe in next week or so, hopefully get this wrapped up. Wrap up the trim work and actually get some Octominers in here. Did have one other quick update. Not much has been going on in the other rooms because I've been focusing on there. Um, but we did take down the half, uh, the like partially built wall that was in here. Um, so it's gone now, which is great. Gives me more room, so got more PDUs in. Um, still missing one of these trip light 20 amp, uh, 240 volt ones. I guess there's a shortage or something, I don't know. I get like one at a time, even though uh, I ordered them all at the same time. Probably the next update, I'll have uh, at least all the rooms have ethernet to all the rooms and probably have all the machines where they're gonna be. Um, and that'll probably be the final step before I actually start moving uh, ops over here. So yeah, I think that'll be the next video. Is, uh, this will all be done and there'll be octominers everywhere um, with no GPUs in them. I think that's about it for now for this update. Like I said, we'll be running these Ethernet, so I'm not going to trip myself. I have not fallen yet, but I have tripped a couple times. And these are the eight octominers left that are going in that room that I'm working on right now. The other rooms all have the octominers in them already. Um, they don't have the A6 yet. Still got to... Got to bring those over uh, when we finally got Ethernet in all these rooms. Uh, but yeah, so that's about it for today's update. Um, so yeah, until next time.